Hello, hello. I greet you in the mighty name of Yeshua. I hope and pray that uh, this uh, video finds you encouraged and embraced by the Holy Spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, so this is what I was uh, talking about uh, last Bible study of purifying worship. It's going to come on here. Uh, I know it's kind of late, but uh, we're, we're still here. Elder Leffert, good to see you. Blessings to you. I greet you in the mighty name of Yeshua. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, what we're doing here is um, we're going to be talking about more in depth of, of about the Sabbath. More about um, the importance of the Sabbath, how significant it is to our lives and what how it reveals uh, uh, the spirit of Yeshua uh, within each and every one of us um, in uh, of the observing him for who he is um, so <clears throat> I'll just say a quick prayer and then we'll, we'll start Heavenly Father I thank you and I praise you for this moment that you have uh, allowed us to to come together and, and uh, fellowship in your name. I ask that you uh, grace us with your Holy Spirit. Uh, let your anointing flow freely. Uh, use me as a vessel for your honor, Father, so that the, your message can go out to the people that are willing to receive it. Father, we thank you for those things. By the mighty name of Yahshua, we pray. Amen. So, um, uh, it's been a, a long day, so uh, that's why I'm getting on here set so late. I wanted to get on here much earlier, but hey, um, you know, it is it's in its due season, so in due time. So uh, for that um, reason, I'm not going to get uh, too technical uh, this evening, but I just want to just put this message out here, out there that... Um, what we will be uh, concentrating on, on the um, um, uh, occurrences of the biblical Sabbaths, will be actually uh, uh, studying and um, uh, uh, devoting our concentration towards um, the Sabbath rest uh, and the purpose of it for uh, Jehovah's people. Um, so. Like I said, I'm not going to get too t technical tonight. I, I do have quite a few uh, scriptures that um, I've, I've had prepared, uh, but this uh, just this time it's just going to be an introduction. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth with it, but um, I just wanted to um, present the uh, the focal point that we are to uh, uh, be striving towards. Uh, the word tells us to strive towards the mark of the prize of the high calling and so there's that, that high calling that it is within uh, the uh, uh, the biblical instruction of the Sabbath these are my feasts these are my Sabbaths uh, it's, it's so we, we already see in the word that there is a a, a, a um, supreme um, point of significance uh, that is that is uh, put on the uh, the Sabbaths uh, of Jehovah, and so um, it is up to us to uh, to sh study to show ourselves approved unto Yah. Um, and so, um, as we study His Word, we will find the truth therein uh, concerning His Word. Um, so, okay, uh, just 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 a, a little surface thing, right? The um, what we have uh, had a notion of is, uh, Amen, Elder Lefford. Uh, yes, uh, I'm humble, and um, uh, that's that's what I strive to do: uh, be obedient to the Father, um, and um, as He uses me as a vessel to advance His kingdom. Um, you know, it's, it's it's all for His glory. 
um, what was I saying? Um, okay, uh, so when it comes to the Sabbath, uh, what we need to be mindful of is that this is um, an appointed time that Jehovah has placed. He said, uh, you know, um, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And so um, we have to be mindful of, uh, of what that entails, keeping it holy. Keeping it holy means just that, you know, it's not adulterated. Um, and uh, so when we dive further into that, uh, we will see um, the requirements that, that that are that are in um, just that alone. You know, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Um, so, what we have to understand about the Sabbath uh, that that one thing that we have been traditionally, um, uh, uh, whether it be uh, traditionally. Um, inclined or indoctrinated into or observed others um, you know um, in their observance of the Sabbath uh, we've been told that okay the Sabbath is you know um, one day or another um, well particularly those ones that uh, are, are notable of keeping the Sabbath are those ones that uh, do it on Saturday um, but then, uh, supposedly, uh, Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, uh, came and changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Um, and so, what we're going to find out is that, you know, um, the Sabbath is, is not entailed in either of those uh, two particular days in, them, in and of themselves. Um, the Sabbath can end up being on one of those days. Um, uh, but then when it uh, we're, we're talking about according to scripture now and when it, when it ends up being on one of those days um, it, it, it's not uh, a permanent thing that on that particular day that it's going to continue to be that way for uh, a span of uh, months or a span of years like everybody, like not everybody, but, but most people will tell you or say that the, the, the Sabbath is on a Saturday or, or the Sabbath is on a Sunday. They don't consider any other day but one of those two days. Um, but um, as we dive into scripture, we're going to find out that it's, it's more to it than that. Um, and uh, we're going to find out that, you know, the significance that it, it holds for um, uh, Jehovah's people, like I said. So, um... Uh, I hope and pray that uh, when we uh, come together for these uh, um, uh, study sessions of, of, of the biblical Sabbath that um, we come with a uh, open mind, open heart, receiving heart um, you, know, uh, you know don't judge me as you know the outward part but judge with righteous judgment um, judge with the word and so um, uh, when the word is presented to us, uh, I pray that when, when we uh, put our eyes on it and it's revealed to us that uh, we begin to walk therein. Um, because that is key that, you know, uh, breaking, breaking free from traditionalism, we, we, we have to, uh, you know, uh, be confident enough um, and committed enough to actually, um, uh, you know, break free from those strongholds that that traditional ways have uh, us in 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 um, whatever habits there there may be and to break free from those things and and begin to apply the word to our lives and we will see that um when we learn to apply the word to our lives uh more and more um that uh we we will um benefit uh um, spiritually from um, doing those things and um, so um, it's application of scripture to our lives okay um, and so uh, I just want to put that out there like people say oh I ain't got to do nothing but 
you know, we always must apply scripture to our lives. Um, you know, you do something when you pray. You do something when you read the word. Uh, you do something when you conduct yourself in um, the, 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 the way that Jehovah desires uh, his people to uh, conduct themselves. Um, to, to bridle their tongue, to, um, to, uh, uh, um, constrict their actions, uh, discipline, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, um, that's, that's all doing something, okay, so, um, uh, let's not be lazy, okay, um, and so, that's all I wanted to say right now, I'm, I'm, I'm working on, going on 11 minutes, this is going to be uh, a very short one, like I said. Amen, Elder Leffert. Uh, faith without works is dead. Um, and uh, that's what James, you know, brings up. He brings up that point. And people think that, you know, him and uh, 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 Paul are uh, contradicting each other. Um, uh, man, do I want to... No, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, um, refer to to uh, opening up scripture because once I start, it's gonna it's, we're gonna have to really get into this thing, and I'm, I'm trying to keep it short this time around. But um, you know, uh, what we what we have to um, uh, realize that uh, we we it, it is it is a a. thing that we have to do uh, and 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 what 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 James is telling us is that uh, one might say that that uh, uh, trying to get the, the exact wording of it but he says that one might say that um, um, uh, Faith is man. Let me. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I'm, I'm missing this this point here. But um, he says, "I will show you. I will show you my faith by my works." Um, and and uh, that you know, that's one of those things that we we must um, be mindful of. What what James brings brings to the point, uh, and and what we are uh, will assume that him and Paul are contradicting each other but in actuality they they are not contradicting each other um, and I hate I hate that I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, back and forth on this thing but let me let me look at something here real quick um yeah, he said he says this here, James two twenty six, but a body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So it is something that we are to actually um um uh, employ our members to to do. Okay? Um whether it be like I said, uh, uh devotion to prayer, devotion to uh fasting, to devotion to uh reading his word, um, you know, a, a lifestyle. That we are to um, uh, find ourselves in, in in retrospect of. So, um, uh, yeah, this this it, it it's I believe it's a purpose for me being you know res uh, reserved on this on this particular message here uh, because this this is a a, a deep um, thing uh, concerning the word. And deep calls out to deep. So we're going to have our time. We're going to be in this word. I don't trust that. And so, um, but I just wanted to um, come on and actually uh, initiate a beginning to this thing. Uh, Jehovah has been dealing with me for some quite some time uh, regarding this. But um, uh, it's one of those things where uh, uh, the preparation was going on in the background. Uh, and so, um, as he has has led and guided uh, me to to this point, um, it, it is it is time for um, this type of word to go forth. Um, and a lot of people see 
um, a point of 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 a change, and 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 they're scared of it. They're more afraid of it than anything, um, uh, because they're they're in their comfort zone, and that comfort zone has you just um, you know more um, compatible with with routine. Or if if a majority is doing it, the majority rules, and that's that's how we're going to do this thing. Um, but without considering what the word has to say concerning that matter, um, and so that's where we're going to end up hitting the tracks, going against the grain, and utilizing the word, and 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 examining the word and seeing what the word has to say. Um, and I believe this uh, will be. Um, a a a pleasantly uh, fulfilling um, uh, journey that we'll be uh, partaking on. Um, and this this um, when well, like I said, this will um, it, it 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 more than likely is going to intertwine with purifying worship that we've been doing, you know, on our, uh, our weekly occasions. Um, uh, purifying worship Bible study. Uh, um, more than likely it's going to intertwine but at the same time I'm going to do my best to keep them as uh, two particular um, um, different um, uh, uh, instances of uh, uh, concentration okay um, but it's, 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 it's going to be it's going to be a good one yes Elder Leff, it's going to be exciting I, I, I believe it is um, um, and so um yeah, uh, I am. I'm, I'm really excited about this thing because, uh, uh, like I said, it's, it's something that's been stirring in my spirit for quite some time. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's it's time for the word to go forth. But anyway, um, I, I was looking at the time and I said, oh, I'm going on 11 minutes now. I'm going on uh, 18. So. I'm, like I said, let's just cut it short because one thing I know, people don't have, uh, everybody don't have the same attention span. But this one is probably going to hit more people than it does any other time because they're going to see a shorter message and maybe they'll listen. And the, But the thing about it is just that seed that's going to go into um, um, that soil that's there. And prayerfully, it's good soil and um, even this little small mustard seed um, will begin to cause uh, everyone that this word uh, falls whose ear this word falls on that it um, it manifests in their hearts so um, that's what we have for tonight just uh, be mindful that uh, okay well before I go I'm sorry I apologize for that but okay um, like I said it, it uh, the Sabbath and I'm, and I'm about to close now and the Sabbath is 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 not a particular day like Saturday or Sunday as we've been you know told or or, or intro, introduced to once we'll find out in the word um, the Sabbath doesn't depend on what we have as weekly um, 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 recallings of days uh, Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday you know it, it could fall on either one of those days um, and be the Sabbath and so we'll find that out we will we'll confirm everything with scripture okay um, <clears throat> that you know it, it's not uh, dependent upon um, uh, those days that we uh, in our current culture have have uh, been known to uh, name uh, with that being said uh, <clears throat> just so happens uh, and and I and how I did this, I, I, I confirmed it with. Um, um, I went on to the uh, website. We on a couple of websites, but I believe the last one, maybe the one I used the most, was the NASA website. Something. It was it was a couple of them, but the website I went on, uh, and I was able to f uh, find out that the uh, the uh, the moon it actually was uh, visible. The first time visible to the eye on uh, Sunday evening of last week. That was that was the uh, renewed moon. Mindful, be mindful of this that the renewed moon is not a new moon like we have been. Uh, it's so much that we're gonna have to go against the grain about. But anyway, a renewed moon is just when the re the light is within it is renewed and it and it and it starts again. Okay, and uh, it, it 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 expands and and contracts and then 
goes out and it comes back but it's the same moon so that's why it's renewed okay it's a renewing of it and so at the beginning of that renewal that's the beginning of the month so the beginning of our um, biblical month um, which according to scripture uh, is it began the tenth month of the biblical year and just like everybody else was saying happy new year and all this and then and the third and um, but uh, according to scripture the uh, the, the, the biblical uh, uh, year could not start until um, what what did um <clears throat> you know, tell the people when they came up out of uh, uh, out of Egypt that <clears throat> you know they had um, um, uh, uh, Passover unleavened bread first fruits but then they couldn't do first fruits until they got into the land and so them getting into the land they could only observe that beginning of the year remember the beginning of the year uh, um, was that, that, that first month um, Abiv which was in um, the first month in, in Passover being the 14th day of that month so um, that's how we can isolate the, the, the times um, of, of, of the year that this occurrence was happening and so um, uh, the first fruit being at the beginning of the year uh, it was um, kind of a thing where uh, right now uh, uh, first fruit from, from grain is not happening so um, we have to put it on the time scale right okay and so um, just wanted to say that little bit so we get an idea of where, where, where this is, 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 is going to be um, building on this is all going to be building on the word the word is going to be the foundation always has been the foundation so um, um, that's that's what we uh, will be utilizing um, even talking about the moon now man I'm trying to be short but okay even talking about the moon people are like oh you're talking about the moon you start the month with the moon you worship the moon no I don't worship the moon how about this when you wake up on, on in the morning and you say oh good morning it's a great day do you worship the sun no Hopefully you don't. Um, even still, you know, it's, uh, it's some deceitful tactics in there that, that, that you know, may, you know, uh, have indoctrinated your mindset to. Uh, Pastor Jay, blessings to you. Uh, it is uh, great to see you this evening. Um, so, um, that is not what we're going to be on at all, okay? What we're going to be doing is utilizing scripture, and we will see that, um, that, particular light that is in the heavens uh, is what was used biblically okay and so that is how we're going to um, be following along with the Sabbath and that's how we're going to be um, finding in scripture where this is where where it is and studying it okay so that's what we'll be doing um, just uh, just a little um, um, icing on the cake um, just a uh, uh, little, little surface thing that you know, I just want to give a little summary, almost, if you want to say, but it, I just don't have the time to really give a, a detailed s summary. But I tried to say as much as I could, as fast as I could, so this thing don't be so long, so it can just hit the ears of, you know, like I said, some some of the ones that don't have that attention span, but that seed that's going to go into each and every one of you that hears this message, uh, you will see that we're going to be embarking on a grand journey. Uh, uh, utilizing scripture and uh, revealing uh, great purpose that's found in the word for all of Jehovah's people so man that was a lot in such a little time but I did get it within 25 minutes y'all know I, and each of y'all that know that, that that follow along and 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 have been going on journey with me with purifying words where I can get long winded sometimes so this is good if I can stop this thing within 25 minutes so that's what I'm going to do this evening so um, um you all guys be blessed um, and just you know from your learning of uh, just a little bit of it just take your time and, and, and acknowledge the, 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 the Sabbath the biblical Sabbath okay and like I said it's not always this this night or the Sunday night okay but you know just 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 take the time to meditate on it. even search scripture for yourself and start studying on your own okay you just need to do that at all times but anyway um, that's what I, that's all I'm going to say tonight um, I love each and every one of you guys. Y'all, y'all take care and be blessed. And until next time, uh, get ready. <laughs>